and you can read with me again. All right, so I will read and you read with me. And we are going to read each sound and put it together. So if you don't know the word, this is how you can try to read the word. So let's read together. And if you can, you can speak out loud and practice speaking. Um, that is a great way to practice your pronunciation. So let's read. And tell me if I am going too fast, too slow, or you want to read a word again. We'll read it again. Okay, let's practice. Cat a list. Catalyst. Catalyst. Suggest. Suggest. So here, when we see G E or G I or G Y, it sounds like J. Suggest. Suggest. So you can say to suggest. Enter, enter, continent, 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 disinfectant, disinfectant. This word is important now, right? <laughs> we need to disinfect all of our things so we do not get sick get coronavirus, right? So disinfectant. And each sound is called a uh, get sick, get coronavirus, right? So disinfectant. And each sound is called a uh, syllable. And each syllable has a sound. Disinfectant. Disinfectant. Independent, independent, and you can say to independent, unequal, 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 reconsider, reconsider. Reconsider. Protection. 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 Backyard. Backyard. Unfortunate. 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 Mishandle, mishandle, unhelpful, unhelpful. And here we can see you know this word help. So unhelpful, unhelpful. Absorb, absorb, absorb. Personality, 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 personality. Good. Okay. Reconsider. Why is it not reconsider? Good. Good question. So let's see. <clears throat> I'll clear this. So each vowel, A, E, I, O, U makes a syllable sound. So, for example, let's look at independent first. In, I, D, A, Pen, E, Dent. So each vowel has its own syllable. Independent. So, reconsider, recon, so, 
again, we can look and see, do we know some words here? Um, and you're asking, why is it not reconsider? That is a great question because we see this word side, right? This is I, I'd. Um, and sometimes, ugh, sometimes English words do not follow the rules. And it is so uh, annoying, right? <laughs> because they don't follow the rules. But we can, we can remember sometimes we have ER and we can know this word consider consider so this word does not follow the rules it says sid and sometimes we can see there is er so we can put then break it up here reconsider reconsider that's a great question. It does look like reconsider. So, <laughs> you know, this word breaks the rules. Good. Like, for, inst for example, the word what breaks the rules, right? This is at, but we do not say what. What? <laughs> we say what. So sometimes the word breaks the rules. Yes, thank you. Removing long vowel noises with words that end in er. Good. So we see ER, we can say the short vowel. Consider. Good. Oh, okay. Same rules in Russian. Very interesting. And hello, Sasha. Ooh, studying for your tests. What tests do you have? Are they easy? Are they hard? Ooh, all right. Great reading. Is, are there any words you want me to read again? Um, otherwise, I can just read them all one more time. <clears throat> I'll read them one more time. Tell me if you want me to focus on a word, English. Oh, all right, let's read again. Catalyst, suggest, enter, continent, disinfectant, independent, Unequal, reconsider, protection, backyard, unfortunate, mishandle, unhelpful, absorb, absorb, personality, awesome. Christmas. Oh, great question. And Sasha, if you have a question from your uh, studying, your exams, uh, let me know. I can try to help you if you have a question from your class. So just let me know. Um, and we'll try this word, Christmas. So this word... Um, CH usually says ch, ch, right? Like chicken or cherry or child. But sometimes it says k, k. Here it says k, character. Um, yeah. So this word comes from Christ, right? Christ. So Christmas celebrates Jesus Christ. So Christ has a k, -k um, but in Christmas, the T is quiet. So we can look at a word like listen, listen. We have S, T, and more letters. The T is quiet. Listen, listen. So, T is quiet here. The C says K. Chris, Chris, must Christmas. 
The CH, so the astronaut says the CH words with the K sound are derived from classical Greek, while the CH words from the SH with the SH sound come from French. Mm. So CH comes from Greek, Greek Christ, right? Christ, Christmas, Christian, Christopher. Good, good question. So you can say with me, Christmas. It sounds like this. Chris Miss. <laughs> Chris Miss. Sometimes it helps to write the word how it sounds. Then we can read this and we know, oh, okay, this word, the letters are a little weird, but I can write how does it sound. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. <laughs> Good question. And I will read these words. The astronaut wrote school, and that says k k k school, right? School. Whoa, I'm thinking about k. Okay. School. And the next word is k k chasm, chasm. And sh sh Chicago, yeah, Christmas, <laughs> yeah. For any words that sound different than you see, maybe like if you have your book and you have the word Christmas there, and you are forgetting. Oh, I forget. I forget how to say it. You can just write in there, right? K R I S S M I S S. Then when you go back, you will remember. Oh. Christmas, Christmas, okay. <laughs> it's like um, talked about this this word what, right? Some people they are typing like on Twitch, on <clears throat> whatever Twitter, and they write what because it sounds like what, <laughs> right? It sounds like what. Good. Awesome. Good questions. Any more questions? LOL what? <laughs> okay. So the astronaut writes LOL what? Ooh, LOL what? <laughs> Means right? <laughs> I'm laughing. What? <laughs> yeah, I do that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> LOL what? It means what? But it sounds like you. This, it's not what, it's what. <laughs> so, good, good questions. All right, any more questions? And Sasha, any questions from your English test? Just let me know. Christmas, Christmas, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, here's another one. We talked about TH and ST. Try, let's try. Try to read this word. <laughs> I will be quiet and let you th words. Okay, great. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, here's a th word. Ooh. So I want you to try. Just try to read it. I cannot hear you, but go ahead. Try. Try to read it. Mm hmm. Now, before I read, I'm going to explain why. To explain why. So first, we have a word here, and we know the word. Right? We know this word. This. I just said it. This. We know this word. So if you don't know, there is a big word, and I don't know this word. I look for something I know. Like here, I know uh, con, or I know pen, I know hand. Right? I can look for something I know. So this, I know this. Now remember, we said ST, the T is quiet. So, goodbye, T. The T is quiet. This. 
L E says ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, this is called it's called the <laughs> the dark L or uh, the dark L. I don't know. Uh, when the L is at the end, we call it dark L. Ooh. It says ooh. And that's a hard sound to make. So you put your tongue here. Ooh. It's on the back of your teeth. Ooh, 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 ooh. And you make the U sound. Ooh, ooh. So you can try. Ooh, ooh. Now let's put it together. We know this. Oh, this soul. Oh, this soul. But now, <laughs> here's the tricky part. <laughs> the word is thistle. <laughs> so it's actually an unvoiced th. So the word this has a voiced th, 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 this, but thistle has a voiced th, or unvoiced th, thistle, sorry, thistle, thistle, thistle. Mm. So how do I know it has unvoiced th? Well, here, the ST gives me a clue. It's telling me um, that the I is going to be stronger and it's thistle. So now you know this word. Thistle, thistle, thistle. Thirst. Great word. <laughs>